Hey, I'm Barbara Berry. Welcome to the Kid Chef Kitchen. I have my great Kid Chef Cameron here, and we're going to show you how to make a farm stand favorite homemade pickles, or as I lovingly call them, polar bear pickles. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Cameron has two pickling cucumbers. You can find them in most grocery stores now if you can't get them at your farmer's market. And I would like for you, Miss Cameron, to cut the first one into circles, into discs, because these are called dill chips. And you can cut it either way you like to do it. She's taking the ends off of both ends because sometimes even fresh cucumbers can be a little tough at the end of the season in September. So we want to make sure we get the very best bites in our pickles. Now, let me tell you why I call them polar bear pickles. Because these pickles do not have to be processed. They have to stay in your refrigerator for five to seven days. Now don't try them before five to seven days because they won't have the right taste. After five to seven days, and honestly, the longer you can leave them, the better they taste, then you can open up a big jar of them and crunch a bunch and give them to your friends and family and use them in all sorts of ways. That looks fantastic. You know what I'm thinking? Why don't you take the other one now and show everybody how to cut it in spears? Because I think we've seen a good amount of these discs. Matter of fact, they smell so good, I gotta have one. Okay, try that one. Okay. And cut that ends off of that one. Mmm, those are excellent. Now, what makes a pickle a pickle? Brine, and brine is nothing more than salty water. So we have salty water with vinegar. We have some pepper, very coarsely ground pepper or peppercorns some kosher salt, and we have some garlic, and we have some dill. You can use fresh dill, which I got at the farmer's market, or you can use dill seed, whichever you like. So I'm going to work on this and take the stem off of it. Cameron, that looks good. I like the way you're being careful cutting. I'm gonna put that fresh dill down in there. You know what, that's probably perfect the way it is. Why don't you stick those guys in the jar? And as a matter of fact, why don't you put both the discs and the spears in there? There's nothing wrong to do with that, and that can make everybody happy, right? Yep. And then, after you get all of that in your jar, we will pour the brine in. And it's very vinegary, because that's what changes a cucumber into a pickle, right? You can pickle beets, you can pickle carrots, you can pickle okra. That's perfect, that's all you need to do. Now, I will give you the honors of the brine, my dear. I'll get the knife out of the way. And if you would pour and fill it up almost to the top, please, ma'am. Then after she fills that in and the garlic and everything goes right in there to give it the great flavor, we will seal that with our special lid and we will put that in the refrigerator, in the back of the refrigerator, mind you, so you don't try to test too soon. You can use your finger and get those good spices out. Let's get all of that in there. Fingers are a good thing to have around, aren't they? Yes. Perfect. Most definitely. All right, here we go. Lid on, cucumbers in. Brine in. Bye-bye. We'll see you in the refrigerator. Make it seven days. Let's wait a while. Right. And then you can open them up and crunch a bunch. And that is our famous, we think famous, polar bear pickles. Thanks so much for showing everyone how to slice. I love the way you did it. Good job. Thank you. We loved having you here in the Kid Chef Kitchen, and we will see you next time. And until then, keep cooking up some fun in your own Kid Chef Kitchen. Bye-bye. Bye.